Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barel, and today we're going to be talking about, uh, we just spoke about right now of uh, Bethesda, which is, uh, congratulations to Bethesda, what a awesome, awesome games they're coming out with, I'm just, I'm blown away, so definitely check out that video, and right now this video right here is about the Xbox and E3, the Xbox presentation, and guys, uh, you know, uh, so, sorry, Microsoft presentation of the Xbox One, and so on and so forth, and I got to tell you guys, blown away by this, I mean, we have... 50 games in total. We're not going to talk about, obviously, all of them. Definitely check out the streaming that they uh, streamed from there, from E3. But, uh, you know, it'll take us forever. We'll make a video for about an uh, hours doing uh, this entire presentation. So I want to hit on what actually mattered the most. And, and I think I could speak for everybody when I say this. When I mention these games right here, compared to all the 50 games that were incredible, the 50 games, they had about 18 exclusives that are going to be insanely awesome. But uh, it, it's so cool. And what I love about uh, Microsoft, uh, you know, the Xbox games, are the fact that they come out with games for the PC also. So to see games like Gears of War was incredible. To have that in the power of my hands, to play with my Xbox 360 controller here, the Xbox One controller, sorry, but whatever, uh, and to be able to... Um, uh, you know, uh, played on a PC with better graphics and everything set to everything I, as my PC, uh, I'm showing you guys every Sunday I put this out, I uh, put out videos on how to, you know, build a, a gaming PC on the cheap, so definitely tune into that every Sunday, you can check out back episodes on my, uh, what is it, uh, whatever it's called, uh, you know, on my entire list here on the community or whatever, you guys will see everything, it'll outline pretty much all of that stuff for you, but anyways, uh, the thing is, uh, what I'd like to definitely talk about is the games that really stood out. Okay, a new Halo game. Hallelujah. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Okay, now, I love Halo. I don't know about you guys, but uh, it was kind of confusing, the trailer. The trailer that they put out there. I don't think it was... It, I think it meant to tease us, but more than so, meant to give us a freaking cliffhanger. It was completely insane it was called halo infinite and i know there was a lot of rumors going on that it was going to be called halo infinity so there you go i mean there's some truth to every little myth and it was just so cool to see that that it's uh that they're actually going to come out with another game for it so i'm really really excited about that the next game that i really dig a lot is crackdown 3 now, I don't know, some people might like this, some people don't. They actually came out with um, an announcement for uh, the date release, which is going to be out February 22nd. So that's pretty freaking awesome. It's pretty nearby. I thought, again, this was going to come out at around April. Uh, and then the, a part of me thought it was going to come out around uh, uh, you know, October. And I guess I just missed that. It barely missed it. And I'd rather them spend some time with it if they see some issues that they need to elongate it and come out with a great game instead of you know, with a half-assed uh, half game like some companies do. So I really, I really dig that, and I'm looking forward to that. Another... Big, big thing that I'm looking forward to, especially after I, I completely beat the hell out of Gears of War. Another Gears, uh, Gears of War is coming out. Uh, they're also coming out with a mobile game. Hallelujah. So there's going to... And, and, you know, there's games that kind of imitated Gears of War. Uh, I forgot the name of it. I remember on the I played it on the on my uh, iPhone and on my Droid. Uh, Droid. Uh, on my Samsung uh, Note uh, uh, series. Uh, it's just beautiful to play it on a big screen. And I forgot what the hell it was called. I don't remember. Oh, God. I forgot. But it was the same exact kind of feel. They had the same thing where you're hiding and you're shooting. It was pretty cool. Uh, fill me down in the uh, you know comments below. Let me know what, what it is. I, I keep forgetting it. But now I'm very happy they're going to have a mobile game for Gears of War. And they're going to have Gears of War 5. Uh, go, Gears of War Tactics, whatever that gets called. Uh, and I think that's uh, really, really cool. Especially after beating Gears of War 4 on my PC. And, uh, you know, the, the story kind of left you with a sour taste in your mouth. You kind of want to see what happens after. And uh, now we're going to actually have that. And I'm a big, big fan, extremely a big fan of the Gears of War series. Uh, I just really, really dig it. And I really think that's going to be amazing. They also kind of announced that it was going to be, uh, that they were going to have... Um, a battle royale uh, possibly for it they were talking about it in the forums i don't know again this is rumor so i have no idea but they mentioned something about battle royale uh but they really showed nothing um nothing at all like in terms of what it what it's going to have they just kind of told you about it and kind of teased you with it another big thing 
is uh, that I just want to mention here is Kingdom Hearts uh, a three uh, will be uh, definitely coming out. Uh, it won't be on PC from what I heard. Uh, that's going to be released first. It's going to be released on the uh, Xbox, uh, you know, Xbox systems and you know all of that. But I don't think it's coming out for PC till probably later. Uh, so that's the only issue I have with that. And I was really, really desperately waiting for this game. But it look, it feels like it's going to be around. They said January 29th, about 2019. We'll see how the heck that works out. Um, but that that really is it as far as that's concerned. Uh, the one that really I am extremely looking forward to, and I don't know if you guys uh, like this uh, series. I know Part Three sucked, uh, but you know they made it up with uh, Four. Uh, the game that I was always looking forward to is Devil May Cry 5. Now, I've played every game in the world that can practically mimic that, from playing Bayonetta, which I really dug. I really love that. It's like, uh, you know, for the Nintendo Switch, it's like um, uh, Devil May Cry for the Nintendo Switch. And Devil May Cry is one of my favorite games ever that I ever played. I even like 3. I'm not going to even lie. As a fan, I know it's a little bit... You know, it was a little bit corny, and 4 was amazing, but now to have a Part 5 with the graphics of today is going to be insane, and I can't wait for that game to come out. And also, Shadow Die tw uh, Shadows Die Twice, that's another one. And I really think that these games are going to really bring... Um going to really uh, show up Microsoft. It's going to be, a, a, of course, probably available on a lot of platforms. But uh, to have it on PC as well, it's going to drive a lot of business to, my, uh, to Microsoft for this. It's going to drive a lot of business to the actual gaming uh, developers uh, for that. And, of course, they have also the cyber, cyberpunk game uh, that looked awesome also. I'm not uh, kind of looked like Blade Runner in a way. I, I kind of dug it. I liked it. I'm not really much. Uh, I wasn't really much into it, but it looked pretty interesting. Um but I think overall, uh, the best game I am looking forward to, I got to say, has got to be, uh, let me just shut this off, has got to be Devil May Cry, and it's got to be, um, uh, what is it, um, Gears of War. I think those are going to be the, and Halo also, but I'm saying Gears of War. Uh, those are going to be the games I am desperately looking for. Let me know down below what you guys think of, like, uh, from all the 50 games, what you guys thought was the one worth mentioning here. Uh, I just think that that was really one of my favorite things that stuck out to me. Like in Bethesda, Doom, uh, a second Doom is coming out, and another Wolfenstein. It, it was just, that that's what really stuck out to me from all the Bethesda uh, mentions. But of course, there were honor, honorable mentions as well. Obviously, 50 games to go through here. And uh, I mean, I got, you know, anybody that's actually, you know, that's uh, any type of a gamer would give Microsoft such kudos for coming out for a 50 game lineup. That's insane. I mean, I wish only other other companies like the Nintendo Switch. I really hope they have like a whole array of games that are coming out instead of just the regular that what we're expecting, like Smash and a couple of other games. I would really like to see an entire library that's coming out. That would be extremely sick, and I'm really looking forward to uh, to seeing what they have to offer. But uh, you know, 50 games. I mean, kudos to Microsoft. Really awesome stuff. And I do hope uh, you know. I, I'm, this is if it won't come out for PC, some of these games I'm going to be forced to get uh, uh, an Xbox, okay, an Xbox uh, One uh, X or whatever, uh, just to get my hands on these games. Devil May Cry, I'm sure, will probably be available on other consoles, but I'm hoping it'll come to PC. And Gears of War is coming out also with a mobile game. I'm, I'm curious to see how the heck they're going to do it. I hope they're not going to make it a very cheesy game because you see they come out with these clones and they come out so well uh, for these games. And it just really sucks if they would come out like like you remember when WWE came out with a game. I forgot what it was called for the mobile. It looked like crap. And then yet you're playing other games that are portable and they look way better. I hope they come out with a real good game. I'm uh, I'm confident Microsoft will do something. Uh, I think it will be really awesome, and I'm looking forward to it. Anyways, uh, definitely let me know what you guys, what games you thought were, uh, you know, great to mention here, and let me know what you guys are looking forward from Microsoft in the next uh, coming year. Anyways, as always, honest reviews here, self-funded. I get paid for. I don't do by nobody. I get paid for by nobody. I don't do Patreon anything. The only thing I ask is uh, that you guys like the video, share the video, hit the bell button, and subscribe to be alerted of many more things to come i do honest reviews from tech reviews to unboxings to i mean pretty much anything and whatever you guys request i try to uh accommodate asap uh but uh you know the only way you guys can help me out just uh, like the channel subscribe and hit that bell button have a good one y'all take care bye